name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today a slightly different one. So basically I'm going to be with my brother Paul and also our friend Richard and the situation is around Richard's house he has really good internet access it's with Virgin Media and he gets fantastic speeds. My brother's house unfortunately the road hasn't been dug up for Virgin Media even though it's only a few roads away and he's got to rely on BT and the BT signal is absolutely awful because it's not fibre to the cabinet or anything like that so he's just relying on old ADSL technology. So as it turns out this is for another video but he has actually got mobile broadband in that property but for the sake of this video we're going to see whether it's possible to beam the signal from Richard's house over to Paul's house so what we're going to be doing is having one of these set up on Richard's chimney on his roof and then it's going to beam the signal over Paul's house is probably around four to five hundred meters away the problem is it's going over many roads so that would be as the crow flies directly so to drive it it takes about you know like three or four minutes but you see it's got to go over other houses other gardens other trees and stuff like that now annoyingly there's not actually line of sight there would be if the trees weren't in the way but there's trees in the way I will show you that later on when we're around Paul's place at the moment I'm in Richard's house and uh, we're gonna see if it works or not so it might not be successful but I'm thinking the video might still be interesting so what's gonna happen is Richard is gonna connect up his internet via an RJ45 see the Ethernet port in here and then it's gonna beam the signal from Richard's house over to Paul's house and then Paul's going to have another dish on his chimney and then we're going to see whether it's going to pick up the signal from point to point and then bring it back through the Ethernet cable into Paul's house. So it's kind of like beaming the Wi-Fi signal a long, long distance away because obviously you know with Wi-Fi as soon as you start going any distance away from your we call it a router in the UK but you will know it's a router in other parts of the world you know that the signal drops away and is unusable. So I think it's going to be interesting. So it's not going to be a real, a real thorough video because there's a lot of things to do. I'm just going to kind of do a quick kind of overview of it. But to begin with, we're going to get it set up locally. Once it's set up locally, we're then going to move this to Paul's house. I think it should be interesting. So let's get started. Here's the box. You can see it's ubiquity and their light beam. And this is the model number around the back here. There. And this is the information here. It actually says 450 megabits per second real throughput. Rich has got around 550 down, nearly up to 40 up. So uh, even if we were to get an eighth of those speeds, all those meters away at my brother's house, it would still be good. And also, they have these little power over Ethernet little adapters here. So you don't have to put any power up to the, the chimney, for example, where the dish is. It's all going to be running down the Ethernet cables. Right, so we're having to use external cable because obviously most of the cable route will be outside. So this is external, but this is Cat6 cable. Now, uh, I haven't got my proper tools with me and also the plugs here. Normally when using Cat6 cable, it's better to use the staggered plugs because it gives you more room because the wires are slightly thicker. But these ones here are just in line, but hopefully we should still be able to get it to work. There you go. So you can see that that one went on perfect. Look at the copper right away to the very end. Now we're just going to test it, so turn on the tester. You can see the flashing lights, so we're going to plug one end in here and the other end here, and we should have all the lights lighting up. So this is sending it, so as long as we've got all the lights lighting up here, you can see that they've gone through. If you've got some missing or across, then you're going to have to redo one of your plugs. Right, so we're inside now, we've got both dishes here. This is going to be the one that's staying in Richard's house, so this is going to have the good internet signal beaming across to the one with the poor internet signal. So amazingly, when you turn these on, they actually generate their own SSID for a short amount of time. So we've got power going into this now, that's broadcasting this SSID. Richard has now connected from his phone onto here, and then we're going to take the settings from this one, put them onto here so they can communicate with each other. Now to work out the orientation of the dishes, we're going to use this here. Now this is just a made up one, this isn't actually where, uh, where they live, but you just click on one of the properties and then you're going to click on the other property and then you're going to drag it to where it needs to go and then it will tell you the theoretical speed and also it's going to give you the, uh, the, uh, the tilt and stuff of the actual dishes. So you can see there we've got a tilt there and we also have a tilt here and then you can use the Compass app on your phone in order to put the dishes to those locations. Now this is the real one here, so this is going to be the one at Richard's house. I'm not showing you the rest of the details obviously. And that's that one there. 
So you remember now on Richard's one it said that it needs to be done at 5 degrees. So if you get your compass app, can you see when I'm moving around here now, that we need to point the dish roughly in that direction there. And then Paul's house was down at 185, obviously because half of a circle is 180 degrees. So we need to, when we get to Paul's place, put the dish pointing in that direction there. All right, Rich is just up on a roof now, attaching a little Jubilee clip to an existing pole. This is all just a bit temporary because we're not sure whether it's going to work or not. And if it does work, we can uh, set up something more permanent. So Jubilee clip's going to go on and then using that compass app again, we're going to point it in the right direction. And also with the elevation, because this property, I can't remember now if this is higher or lower than the other one, but there's a little scale on the dish itself. So you can kind of adjust that. But remember, it doesn't mean that the pole itself is perfect. So I'm sure little adjustments is going to be made. To me, it looks like it could be a two person job, one at one end property, one at the other. But uh, I suppose if you knew what you were doing, then uh, yeah, maybe it could be just set up because that is going to be beaming the signal out. It's not, it's, it's direct, but it's not going to be that direct. You know, it is going to be a tiny degree or two here will make a big difference at the other end. So uh, it's pretty interesting though. Just trying to line up the dish now, popping it on and then just using the, the app on the phone, the compass app to get the five degrees. So that's it, up on the pole and plugged in. You can see the little blue lights. So now we're going to go to Paul's house and we're going to be putting the dish on his side, pointing in this direction. Well, that's at my brother's house now and we're just attaching it to this uh, TV aerial pole that's already up there. And if we go all the way over here, it's going to be pointing roughly in the direction over there, but we haven't got line of sight. They're the flats near Richard's house there, but they're another story above his house. But remember, hopefully from the top of the roof down, it may be okay, but you can see there's a lot of obstacles in the way. Right, so just temporarily now, we've got a black cable coming down from the dish at Paul's house. This is the remote side now, the side where we want the internet, and it goes into the PoE adapter. You can see it's actually in the PoE port, and this is plugged in now to the mains. So we've got power here. This is just to do an alignment test. So now I'm gonna get up on the roof, and we're gonna use the app. We're gonna to try to align the dishes, and I believe this is done via sound. Right, so the dish is up on the aerial now. I'm actually up on the roof and we've connected to the SSID off the dish on the phone here. And it's trying to find the signal off the dish from Richard's house. Okay, that's about right. Right, we lined it up with the compass. Unfortunately, it's not picking up anything at all. So we're just making tiny little adjustments now just in the hope that it will pick up some kind of signal. Unfortunately, it's just saying remote disconnected, looking for access point. It just can't see it. We're trying to move it around the place. We're not going to give up just yet, but it's not looking hopeful. And I think it's just purely because of the lack of line of sight. It looks like line of sight where's is your, important. We're kind of hoping that maybe it would travel through the trees and stuff, but there's flats and everything in the way. Maybe if you were in a, a rural environment, it would work, but everything's just very built up around here. So uh, yeah, it's not looking hopeful. Well, there we go. Just because the video was a fail, I'll on. show you some yeah. early fireworks. And if you're interested, yes. we've got, what we've got there, that's Harrow on the Hill, <coughs> the spire at the top there, and look at Wembley in the distance. Wembley Stadium is the, the arch thing there, it's yeah. Harrow on the Hill. Anything else? Anything just else? power cranes, and you see the fireworks. Nice, nice pylon. He over that way, but I'm not sure you can see the control tower at the moment. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. at least we've got some fireworks. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? There you go. Yeah, that's okay. Well, that is disappointing, but still, it is real life. I still think it's, I still think it's interesting. I think the, the video will still, uh, still be interesting. What we might do is we might just take the dish back to Richard's place just to pop it near the shed, just, just to, to show. That, that, that yeah, we haven't got another issue going on. Yeah, just because yeah, yeah. the, the, the thing is, the, the second dish was bought from eBay, so uh, there is a chance that it might have been faulty well, from the beginning. Been out, so. Yeah. Nice sights though. We think this is our problem here. This is Richard's house here and there's three storey blocks of flats here and here and basically if you look at the route, the, the line of sight, you can see that it's probably passing that one but it's going right the way through here and it's not just through you know, one of the flats, it's going through the middle like the stairwell and then through a flat as well, very close to the house. So I suppose the signal is probably getting lost on this bit here. Right, so got the device that was on my roof coming down. Ethernet cables coming through into the network there, plugged into the network inside. Right, 
Head of the units up at the end here. That's an extension cord running out, going into the PoE injector, supplying PoE to the dish. The other side's going to the laptop here. Right, let's have a look now. Okay, speed wise now, connecting 10 millisecond ping, 360, 380, 400, 400 megabits, that's giant, 320, 330, 350, 360, 390, 390 megabits with a 36 megabit upload. So that is it for this video. Unfortunately, it didn't work, but this is real life and we gave it a go. It doesn't always work when you try to do things in real life. Even when you look online and it says, yes, it can work, you'll get these speeds. That's not real. You know, you need to do it in real life because there's going to be other obstacles and other interference and stuff in the way that may stop it from working. Now, it did have a happy ending, just not for my brother Paul. It had a happy ending for somebody else, another one of Richard's friends who lived near a by. That's what you're seeing on screen at the moment. Look at that TV there on the speed test. It's showing a 255, 255 down and 37 up. And that is a road off Richard's road. So it's not the same road, but it's nearer. It's about 100 metres away as the crow flies. But more importantly, there's line of sight between Richard's roof and his friend's roof. And you can see in this instance, it's definitely working and it seems to be working reliably, which is really good. So hopefully as technology moves on in the future, things like this will become cheaper and cheaper and also more and more reliable with higher speeds and more stable. So uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed this video. I hope you did too. Massive thanks to Richard and Paul for giving the location also allowing me to film and doing most of the work as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely did. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos like this. Take care. Bye now.